program. In this video, I want to see how we can find the limiting value of the repeating decimal that we are given here. So when you look at this number, the numbers that are repeating are these. So we need to find uh, the limiting value. Okay, so we need to look at what is repeating. If I try to write this number in, in a different format, I can say this is two plus. Then we have 0 0.3737. 37. This continues to repeat. So this number here is the one that is repeating. Now we need to find the limiting value as the repetition continues. Now, how do we do that? We can again dismantle this number. This is the same as 2 plus, this we are going to have 0 0.37 plus 0 0.0037 plus 0 0.00037 plus and so on. So we want to find what do we end up with as this kind of repetition continues. What would be the limiting va value? So when you look at this, 2 wasn't repeating. That's why I've isolated 2 there and remained with what is repeating. Now when we look at these terms that are repeating here, you can see that the series here is a GP. You can see that what we are ending up is a GP. Now when you look at this um, GP, this GP converges. In other words, this will have a limiting value as we continue to to add the terms. As the number of terms increases, as we increase the terms such that we end up uh, going to infinity, this will have a limiting value. So we have to find that limiting value, then we add it to 2. Once we add it to 2, it will be the limiting value for the repeating decimal. So this is a GP. Okay, If you divide this divide by that and this uh, divide by that, we end up having the same number which we call the common ratio. So we're going to, have, um, to find the limit value for this one. So the limit value for this one is calculated by sum to infinity, which is given by the formula A over 1 minus C R. So A is the first term. So the first term here is 0 0.37. And R is the common ratio. Okay, so the common ratio, you divide the term in front, divide by the term that is behind there. You can use any two consecutive, any two immediate terms. This divide by that, the answer will be the same. So we have 0 0.37. Okay, we are dividing uh, the next term, we divide the previous. So we have 0 0.037, divide by this one. 0 0.37. Of course, even this one can be used here. So what we are going to have is R will be equal to this one. If I try to remove the decimal number to come here, I will have 37, but I'll multiply with, I'll move this uh, well, four places of decimal point. So even here I can move four. Okay, I'll end up having 37, 0, 0. Okay, you multiply this by 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, 4, 0, so that this decimal point can come there. But whatever you do there, you do it even down here. This is what we are ending up having. So R will be equal to this into that we get 0. Point. We put 0 there. This into that we get 0. We get 0 there. We get this one. So this will be our common ratio. Now this common ratio tells you that this sequence, okay, this sequence will have a limiting value. The sequence is a convergent uh, sequence. So we need to find the limiting value for this particular sequence using what we call the sum to infinity. So here we are going to have sum to infinity is equal to the first term is 0 0.37 over 1 minus r is 0 0.01. So when we do this, we are going to have um, 0 0.37 over 0 0.99. When you subtract this, you get 0 0.99. Okay. Now, now that we have the, the limiting value, we can again simplify this. We can multiply on top by 100. 
hundreds and down by one hundreds so that we remove the decimal point z. What we have here, what we have is um, sum to infinity is equal to three seven nine. So once we had this to two, what we are going to have would be the limiting value for this repeating test. So now this is the sum to infinity for this. We need now to add it to, so it will be 2 plus 3, 7 over 9, 9. So this is over 1. We can look for the common denominator. The common denominator here will be 99. 99 multiplied by 2, we get, uh, we get 1, 9, 8 plus 3, 7. And this will be equal to... So when we had this, we, we end up having this, and this will give us this. And this will be the limiting value for this particular repeating decimal point. So for this and more videos, subscribe. Thank you for watching.